Yesterday, the euro slid, reflecting a downward revision to Germany's gross domestic product for the first quarter. The European currency was also weighed down by gloomy data on consumer confidence, even comments by ECB officials pointing to the need for more interest rates uh, failed to back uh, the euro up. After all, market participants are still waiting for a breakthrough in debt ceiling negotiations and are in no hurry to buy risky assets, including the euro and the British pound. In addition, the advance estimate of uh, first quarter GDP growth in the United States was corrected up to 1.3%. This news supported demand for the U.S. dollar, but led to a sell-off in the euro and the pound sterling in late trade. And now let's take a look at today's macroeconomic calendar. It includes U.K. retail sales, which have already been released. British retail sales rose by 0.5% in April from March, slightly above analysts' forecasts. However, this news has not had a severe impact on the market yet. Also, ECB members are set to speak today. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, they stress the need to keep raising interest rates. Nevertheless, it uh, no longer supports the euro as markets anticipate the regulator adopting a less aggressive policy stance and announcing rate cuts in the near term. The focus of traders will be on statistics from the US. Consumers are estimated to have picked up their spending modestly in April. Personal income is also expected to increase. If the figures are above expectations, the US dollar will extend gains, thus putting stronger pressure on risky assets. Besides, traders may take notice of data on durable goods orders. The indicator is forecast to decline in April following a sharp rise a month earlier. However, it is unlikely to seriously hurt the greenback, which has been in demand lately in the face of uh, the ongoing debt ceiling standoff. From a technical point of view, the euro is still trading in a descending channel. Yesterday, bears tried to break below 1.0715 but failed, so there is a likelihood that the euro will recover slightly at the end of the week. If the price dips again and forms a false breakout at 1.0715, a buy signal will be generated. In this case, the euro is expected to advance to 1.0757. A failed attempt to consolidate above this mark will make it possible to go short and earn about 20-25 pips on a decline to 1.0735. If uh, the price breaks through 1.0757, uh, the euro will have a chance of rising to 1.0795. At this level, I recommend going short on a rebound to catch an intraday correction of 25-30 pips. If the price falls below 1.0715, it would be a wise decision to go long on at uh, 1.0674 and 1.0634. Nevertheless, I still expect the euro to enter a slight upward correction. Meanwhile, the British pound is currently trading upwards, driven the, by upbeat data on UK retail sales. However, bulls are likely to face resistance at around 1.2359. A false breakout at this mark will create a sell signal, thus bringing the pound sterling down to 1.2310. If the price breaks through this mark and tests it from the bottom up, the volume of short positions will increase further. In this case, the currency will plunge to 1.2275, where traders are recommended to go long on a rebound, counting on an intraday correction of 25-30 pips. Alternatively, if the price consolidates above 1.2359 amid a downbeat data from the United States, the British pound will have a chance of recovering to 1.2411. At this level, it will be possible to sell the pair on a rebound in the hope of a slide of 25-30 pips. 
Good luck and have a great weekend.